I have for you is a word. Tell it. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. Thanks to the 2020 Christopher Nolan film Tenet, we're all thinking about time in an all-new way. Not time travel, but inversion. So what does it all mean? This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, what is time inversion? Are you a fiend for facts? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one, and ring the bell for more fascinating content. In Tenet, the stakes are exceptionally high, as the main character tries to stop World War III, or something even worse than World War III, from happening. I'm not saying I'm again here. No. Something worse. But what sets this particular blockbuster apart from the others is the key concept of time inversion. In interviews, Nolan has stressed that this isn't a time travel movie, but how time works is still key to how the story unfolds. Time inversion isn't only a sci-fi concoction for the big screen, though. It's actually grounded in some fairly mind-bending theoretical science, and it could well change how you view reality. You have to start looking at the world in a new way. The second law of thermodynamics says that entropy can never decrease over time. It's always evolving and moving toward maximum entropy, or thermodynamic equilibrium. Everything that ever happens is working toward this ultimate end goal. But with time inversion, entropy also inverts, and actions and processes run effectively in reverse. It's why, in the Tenet trailers, we see things like cars uncrashing and bullets firing back into the gun. But in general, it encourages us to imagine what life might be like in a mirror world, where everything that has happened until this point rebounds and seemingly unravels in a different reality. Even before Tenet, reverse time was a popular trope in sci-fi and fantasy films and TV, allowing for scenes where characters can redo their past mistakes. But time inversion is less about this fantastical ability to earn a try again on life, and more about what would actually happen if the same events played out again but backwards. One key aspect is that inverted time wouldn't necessarily return us to the past exactly as it was before. In 1980, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to Val Logsdon Fitch and James Cronin when they proved that subatomic reactions in reverse wouldn't necessarily mirror exactly how the original reaction had played out. This discovery meant that scientists could no longer view the physical world as symmetrical. The lines between cause and effect had well and truly been blurred, and the idea that you could reverse time to change the future is born. What reportedly sets Tenet apart from most other reverse time ideas, however, is that main characters experience reverse time and reverse entropy in real time, as we usually perceive it. This isn't just resetting the world and starting over then, it's more like re-entering the world, only with parts of it apparently running backwards. This video, having been made before the full release of Tenet, isn't about to second-guess what could or couldn't happen in the movie itself. Don't try to understand it. Feel it. But the basic idea, of time not always behaving like we've come to believe it should, lends itself to a number of hypothetical realities. Say a mirror world did exist, perfect or not so, and you had access to it, or at least to parts of it. Inside that world, you could affect events as they happen, rather than going back in time to change events before they happen. Then say that both planes of reality could cross over and leak into each other, well, then you'd be master of your own, and potentially everyone else's, destiny. In this reality, anyone privy to such knowledge and able to wield such influence would effectively be imbued with godlike capabilities. It's not uncommon in time travel stories for time itself to be presented as though it is the true god or the true power, and time inversion would just be one way of putting that power into practice. While this world spins one way, ever onwards toward the end and thermodynamic equilibrium, another spins the other way toward, well, who knows what. Arguably the biggest question that time inversion throws up is, where does it all end? If a bullet can return to a gun, then could that gun also be unmade? If a person can unfall from a building, then could that building never be built at all, if you go back far enough? Whether it exists separate to or alongside time as we experience it, is time inversion on a one-way street back to the moment of the universe's creation? Or could even that be rewritten if reverse time in fact doesn't follow a symmetrical path? And then, if even the creation of the universe can be reshaped or redirected, where does that leave reality as we know it? Clearly, it's a concept which throws up any number of other questions. When we consider our own existence within the malleable, flexible mesh of time itself, 
then we could really begin to feel quite helpless. Luckily, all of this shouldn't make a great deal of difference to how we actually view and experience our own lives, our own enjoyments, duties, friendships, and memories. We, as we are, still experience time going forwards. It's why we're often told that we're all time travelers, really, because we've moved into the future now, and now, and now. All around us, at every moment, the universe is continuously reacting its way toward maximum entropy. Even in the time since this video started, we've moved a small amount closer to that final destination. And you've ever so slightly contributed by, say, moving your mouse, scanning the comments, spinning in your chair, or just simply by breathing and blinking. All of those things still have happened, and barring some sort of reality breakdown, will still happen. So there's no need for an existential crisis just yet. If you could somehow isolate the experience of you watching this video though, place it through time inversion and then observe it from afar, you might see yourself unmove your mouse, unspin your chair, or undrink your soda. Your unbreathing and unblinking might look a little weird, but you might expect the end point of your inverted time not to differ too drastically from the opening moment in your original timeline. Consider the same idea played out across all of human history, however, or specifically in relation to one critical event, like World War III as with Tenet, and even the smallest disparity between the here and now and what happens in inverted time could have major consequences. Tenet. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. If you then have the ability to not only see time reverse, but also to affect it, to step back into it, then you would have complete control of what some refer to as fate. You could even consider yourself to be fate. More than likely, such an opportunity would come with an all new set of dangerous consequences. But we'll leave unpicking those to the movie itself. Unless time suddenly inverts for everyone from this point forwards, we'll all be able to watch Tenet at one time or another. There are people in the future who need us. Who need Tenet. We need to save them here and now. This reversing the flow of time. Doesn't us being here now mean it never happened. And we'll all be able to think more about the nature of time, what would happen if it ever splintered into two, and how the second law of thermodynamics guides everything we do, unless it gets broken. And that's time inversion. Oh. Well, I've seen too much. Well, we'll try and keep up. Are you a fiend for facts? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more fascinating content.